Hello, my name is Dr. Jadley Nuckham and this channel is dedicated to all things teeth and dentistry. I'm a dentist based in the UK and I enjoy making people smile, not only from the outside but also from within. I want all of you to understand your teeth better, so I'm trying to make complex information into simple, bite-sized and an easy way to understand more about your teeth. So today we are discussing the biggest problem for which you would go to see your dentist and yes, you probably guessed it, tooth decay. Today we're going to discuss what it is, how it happens, the symptoms to look out for and make sure you stick around to the end where I'll discuss simple things that you can try at home to help you with the toothache that you might be having and also things that your dentist can do for you. Now, if this sounds good to you, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and let's jump right in to Tooth Decay. What is Tooth Decay and why does it happen? So tooth decay itself happens when the enamel, which is the hard outer coating of the tooth, and the dentine, which is the layer just inside of the enamel, becomes softened by acid from food and drink that you have eaten that has a lot of sugar in it. Now that is not to say that anything acidic, so for example if you had something like lemon or oranges, will cause decay. This is likely to lead to tooth erosion, which is completely different to tooth decay. If you'd like to know more about tooth erosion, please comment that in the section below and I'll make a video for you. You naturally have bacteria that live inside the mouth. Now, when you have something sugary to eat from your food and your drink, the bacteria will use this sugar as its source of energy to help live However, as a byproduct, they also produce acid, and the acid causes the tooth decay. Now, every time you have something sugary to eat, this acid attacks the enamel, and this makes it softer. And now you might be wondering, do you have tooth decay happening in your mouth every time you have something sugary? Now, the interesting thing is that our body has an incredible ability to recover. When you have something sugary to eat or to drink, the acid attack on the enamel lasts around about an hour. And that's because the saliva in your mouth has natural salts in it, which gets to the point where it helps to harden the tooth again. If you imagine a seesaw, the acid attack causes the softening of the enamel and the saliva is trying its best to help to re-harden the tooth. So there's a constant balancing act going on. Now, if there's always a lot of sugar in the diet, then it means that the tooth is always going to be in the softened state and the chances of decay are much higher because the tooth is not being given enough time to try and harden itself and to re-mineralize itself. Once the decay has passed the enamel of your tooth, it then reaches your dentine, and the dentine is the soft inner layer of the tooth. When this happens, it's more likely that you'll experience some sensitivity, and it's mostly too hot, too cold, and too sweet. And this is when we would say that you truly have a cavity, which is a hole in your tooth. What happens if you don't get the tooth decay treated early? Tooth decay, when confined to your enamel, is completely reversible. And this is why it is so important to make sure that you go for your regular checkups at the dentist so that they can keep an eye on your teeth. However, once the decay has passed the enamel and the decay is now in the dentine, then it becomes irreversible and the rate of the decay is a lot faster. As the decay gets closer to the pulp of the tooth, which is where the nerves are, this is when you're likely to experience severe toothache. So these are sometimes along the lines of not being able to sleep at night, you're having to take painkillers, there's a constant ache, 
And this is why it is so important to make sure you go to see your dentist, firstly, to get you out of pain, and secondly, so that you have the least amount of treatment possible. So for example, you'd much rather have no treatment compared to a filling and have a filling compared to a possible root canal treatment or even extraction. Is there anything that you can do to help protect your teeth against decay? Number one, always use a fluoride toothpaste. It has a really good re-hardening and remineralizing effect on your teeth. Number two, always go to see your dentist for regular checkups so they can keep an eye on your teeth. Number three, brush twice a day, especially at night. Number four, use something to clean between your teeth. So be that a floss or even brushes. And if you want me to uh, make a video on how you would do this, then comment that in the section below and I'll be sure to make a video on that. And number five, Cheese has been shown to have a really good remineralizing effect on the tooth and eating sugar-free chewing gum has also been shown to produce more saliva so it has a re-hardening effect too. The best time to have the cheese or the gum is straight after you've had something to eat. Your dentist can also apply a fluoride gel to your teeth um, which also has a very similar effect of helping to re-harden the tooth. If you found today's video useful, then please hit the thumbs up and also please subscribe below and please hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos.